Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a tutorial on how to get this slick back wet look right here without actually getting your hair wet. So if you're gonna go to an event or compete in a pageant or go live or do a photo shoot or something where your hair can't actually be wet for this snatched wet look, then I'm gonna teach you how to do it with just a couple products and it's super, super easy. It's been my go-to for anything just because it's so fast and simple to do and really doesn't require a lot of work. As you can tell, if you've been following me on social media, you know that I'm obsessed with this look. I've been doing it on myself. I've been doing it for photo shoots. I've been doing it on my pageant clients, including Miss Earth USA, who did this iconic evening gown look with the hair that I styled for her and I feel like that was where this wet look kind of really got put on the map. So after that video clip came out, I've had a lot of clients asking for this look and I'm obsessed with it myself. Before we get into it, I just want to tell you all of the products that you will need for this look. You're going to need a mermaid hair waver. This is their new pro waver. I'm obsessed with it. You're also going to need a teasing comb. This is super important. You can use anything that looks like this. You're also going to need a mousse and a glossing serum. I love this color wow pop and lock because it doesn't ever feel greasy but it gives you that super nice shine without weighing your hair down. You're also going to need some hairspray. Today I'm using the Argan Oil of Morocco hairspray and for me since I'm really insecure about having all of my hair back because I feel like I have a huge forehead I like to use the root concealer spray to literally paint on a brand new hairline so that um, I don't look so like <laughs> Anyways, those are all of the tools that you need and now let's go ahead and get right into it So I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys this look it looks amazing when the hair is like greasy So if you have like second or third day hair and you don't know what to do with it This is like the best look if you have an event, but you don't want to shower um, Personally for me, I always like to not like be crusty or anything but like I don't want to shower before an event because I have to do like a full shower to get off all of my makeup and to take my hair down so I don't want to take two showers in a day so if I'm doing an event or an appearance or some kind of live virtual thing because of COVID then I like to just you know wake up in the morning not really shower if I do is just to rinse my body and then I'll just beat my whole face and then do my hair. I don't wash it before because one, it doesn't hold style as well, and two, it's just gonna be another shower where you have to wash and blow dry and style your hair again, which is always like a pain, especially for people with long hair like me. And also the way that I do makeup, it just requires a shower. Regardless, if I have my face beat like this, I can't just do a makeup wipe and go to bed. I literally can't do that. I have to do like a full shower just to get everything completely off. So anyways, let's get into it. I'm just gonna go ahead and section the top part, which is gonna be like slick back. So I'm just doing like a U shape. I kind of started out my temples. I went a little bit wider than my side part would be. And I'm just gonna go ahead and clip this out of the way and we'll revisit that section later. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just section the side piece like above my ear. I just grabbed like a little chunk like this. This is really all you need. I'm gonna divide this in half. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's the beauty of the wet look. And I'm gonna go ahead and just mist it down with some hairspray. I'm taking a teasing comb and I'm gonna tease this to Jesus. Just really tease, tease, tease because this volume and styling is essential. While the hairspray is still wet, I'm gonna go ahead and start combing it back. So you're kind of working the frizzies out while you're pushing it back at the same time and it stays like that. So now we're gonna do the next piece. And when I comb back, I kind of just tuck it behind my ear. So now it's like slick back and it stays like that. Okay, so the teasing is doing all of the work where it just you know, whisks everything back and holds it in place. And if you feel like it's still falling out a little bit, you can take some bobby pins and clamp right here to hold them in place and then spray over it one more time to make sure that they're staying. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and move on up to this top section. And so now we're gonna work from the back forward like this um, and doing about one inch sections. We're just doing the exact same teasing thing. Okay, so now everything is slicked back, but we're just looking a little bit Elvis Presley, so we're gonna have to add like that wet texturedness into it. 
So it's a little bit of a process. First, what we're gonna do is take our mermaid waiver. Um, I kind of just divided up the back sections in half and brought everything to the front. And you're just gonna start randomly clamping little pieces with the mermaid waver. And this is gonna be what makes the hair look wet. Okay, so now you can see the difference. This side has a little bit more shape and form to it. This side just looks like a frizzy ball of mess. This side looks a little bit more shiny. So now I'm gonna balance out. So now I'm gonna balance it out and do the other side. Okay, so now the hair looks a lot more like I just came out of the water, but we still have some work to do. Next, I'm gonna take some mousse. So I'm just gonna take like a big chunk of mousse and I'm gonna start at the ends and just kind of scrunch it into the hair to make it look wet. And now I'm gonna take a piece, um, I'm gonna take a little bit more, rub my palms together and put it into the base of my hair. So now the hair looks nice and piecey and wet. We're almost done. The last step to make it look a little bit more like wet is to use the Color Wild Pop and Lock. This is like a glossing serum. It never wears greasy, which could kind of be a problem right now, but mixed with the mousse, it really does an amazing job at giving you that like wet look without actually being wet. So I just took um, a couple pumps, actually a lot of pumps, and I'm rubbing my palms together and I'm gonna go ahead and just scrunch this into my hair one more time. And I start at the bottom to make sure that like all of the product is concentrated at the base of my hair, and then I'll just move it over to the top and kind of slick it in. So I just did one side so that you can see the difference. This is dry, you guys. This is just gloss and mousse and the mermaid waver, but it looks like it's wet. So it's gonna stay like this all day long, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side to balance everything out. Okay, so that wet look is pretty much done. I look like I just came out of the shower. I look so edgy and extra. This would look amazing with any kind of high neck gown, um, a strapless top or like a blazer, anything but a tie dye hoodie, honestly, cause it looks kind of crazy. Like I look like I just came out of the shower. Um, but my forehead always bothers me. If you guys have been with Lady Code, you already know that I hate my forehead. So I'm just gonna take some L'Oreal root cover up and I'm gonna go ahead and spray this along my hairline just to conceal like this. So now my forehead looks a little bit smaller. I have this super snatched wet look that would look amazing in pictures, events, whatever you need it for. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.